I can be by you all the time, but you're on my mind. You see, that you are one of the special, incredible people in my life. I know I'm gonna make you. Yo, what it do? It's your boy MTG King, and I'm back on the screen. Hope everybody has a great, amazing, blessed Friday. And congratulations to everybody who's graduating today. Because from the high school that I graduated, I believe they're graduating it today. So, shout out to NDH. And I hope y'all fulfill your dreams and go to college or whatever you're, you know, doing. You know, accomplish it. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm up so early because it's really like 7.29, 7.30. I'm up so early because I'm supposed to be headed to the doctor to fill out some paperwork. Um, so I'm going to see if I end up doing that. I'm sure I probably will, but I'm just saying I'm going to see. But I'm just going to see. Y'all know, at least if I did end up going, I didn't. But yeah, and I ended up shaving just with the shaver because... I ended up getting all these bumps when I did it with my machine. And I don't know, like, because they feel like, um, they feel like pimples, but then it looks like they're like Anglo hairs. So I ended up having to shave it with a, with a razor. So that's why I'm a little bit balder. I didn't call that out yesterday, I don't believe. Or unless I did, I don't know, guys, but. If I did, my bad, but if I didn't, yeah, that's why I have it. That's what I mean, I ended up shaving with shaver. Um, yeah, I still felt like crap or not, but, whatever, you know, it is what it is, but. And I also want to say happy 13th birthday to to Vinny, which is my pastor's um, son. He turns 13 today. Happy birthday, Vinny. Hope you have a great, amazing Blessed birthday. Hope all your wishes come true, man. And hopefully I feel good enough and to see you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, anyways, though, guys, I will catch y'all back in a bit, though. Chill. What's up, guys? I'm at the family dollar store. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a cooler. No, not really. But we just stopped by Hero Fest because we went to um, to the hospital to go take care of some business that I had to take care of for myself, you know what I'm saying? And now we just came in here to look around, but yeah. Anyways, though, so I'll catch you in a little bit. Hope everybody's having a great day. Chill. Yo, what it do, fam? I'm just here chilling in the living room and... That's all I'm doing is chilling. Um, I'm in pain, and yeah, trying to um wait to see to get a call from from um the the hospital, waiting on a call from them, and I do start physical therapy next Thursday on the thirtieth. Dang, I just found out it's gonna be like an hour and a half long. That's crazy. Almost two hours. Or no, actually, it's, I think, two hours. That's crazy. Like, I guess right there they'll tell me how many, like, how long physical therapy is going to be. And then from there, then, I know June the 13th, I believe I have an appointment back with the plastic surgeons. And from there, we're going to, um, we're going to talk about everything else that's about the I guess we're gonna talk about maybe like the third surgery that's gonna go down um from what I was told though is the third surgery would be taking place probably like in two to three months so I want to say like the ending of July or beginning or even ending of August somewhere around there so yeah it's gonna be crazy but yeah um but that's like the update, basically, that from what I was updated. Who knows? It could probably have been sooner, but I doubt it because they said they need to let this thing heal first. And, um, yeah, so we'll see, though.
But I hope you're all having a great, amazing day. And like I said, you know, congratulations to all the students that are graduating this year. You know, y'all, um, y'all accomplish something big that, you know, a lot of people don't accomplish. But I know the feeling of accomplishing it because I accomplished high school. I graduated and it was the most amazing, wonderful feeling. And actually my 11th anniversary is coming up that I graduated. And yeah, you know, all I can say is congratulations. And y'all keep grinding, keep on going. If you have the opportunity, keep on going to college. If y'all got any grants or any of that, take advantage of that, man. And if you didn't, just work your butt off hard and just go to community, like, uh, community college. And, you know, anything is possible, guys. You know, there's stuff out there. You just got to look hard. And I wish y'all the best in life. So, yeah, that's for everybody who's graduating. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, my old, the high school that I graduated from, they're graduating today. So shout out to y'all. And the high school that I was wanted to graduate from, because I actually went to the middle school next door to it, they're graduating, I believe, tomorrow. So, yeah, you know, shout out to the Bulldogs and the Wildcats. You know what I'm saying? Y'all some real ones. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to everybody else, all the other schools. You know what I'm saying? And to all the colleges, too, that have been graduating, shout out to y'all. But I'm saying, just stay motivated, stay positive, keep pushing, and, hey, make your dreams come true. You got to work hard. In, look, anything is possible. Dreams do come true, but you got to put your part and make it happen, you know what I'm saying? So anything is possible. Just stay on your grind and do you. At the end of the day, you know, just just pick the right decisions and choices in life and anything is possible. But I'll see y'all in a bit though. Chill. Yo, what's up with the fam? Um, you know what I'm saying? I just got done eating. Now I'm about to take a shower. Cause it's literally about to be nine o'clock, it's eight forty eight. So I'm taking a shower and stuff. I'm about to wash my hair, you know what I'm saying? Take a nice shower and um and let the water just run on me because man, my stuff's hurting bad. Like my, when I mean my stuff, I mean what I had surgery at y'all. Told y'all cochinos and cochinas out there don't be thinking wrong. <laughs> uh, nah, but my, my decisions, it hurt really bad. I'm still feeling like crap. But anyways, I can kind of bit the shit. Yo, what is good, squad? I'm back. Um, I took a shower and stuff like I told y'all. And I'm actually... I'm undecided on what I'm going to wear tomorrow because I'm going to church. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of undecided. But then I'm also excited because I'm about to be an uncle at any moment to a, a, a baby boy. And so I'm all between getting ready and, like, getting ready for church or messaging or whatever. And it's my, it's actually, literally, it will be, like, my cousin, but... I mean, he, he would be like my second cousin but like since my cousin she only has one brother and she sees me as a brother like she already you know like that's just what she sees me as her brother she doesn't see me as a cousin so she already said that I'm gonna be the baby's uncle and stuff so like she's already like literally in the hospital she's been in the hospital since earlier the only thing that sucks is because she's in Mexico otherwise I would literally be there but she's in Mexico so you know, I'm all the way in Texas. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to see him, like, through pictures and stuff. And usually, you know, we, me and her, we talk a lot through video call. So I can't wait to see what he looks like. But I'm sure he's going to be a big baby because she, she literally is huge. But she's been texting me since earlier. So I, I got kind of concerned, and I had it. So I messaged her. And I, I was trying to call her, but it wasn't going through. But then she, I listened to her voice thing, and she told me it's because she's in the hospital already, and she's been in the hospital since this morning. So it's a long labor right now. You know, I messaged her again and asked her what's going on. And she said that, you know, she's already having contractions and whatnot. So she should be having it anytime soon before the night ends or not. Who knows around what time she'll be having him, but it's a little baby boy, and I'm just so happy. It's a little baby. But yeah, I'm really undecided on what I'm going to wear to church. And tomorrow's going to be kind of a 
a different day for your boy in TZT. Because y'all know I, I hardly go out. I hardly do anything. So tomorrow's going to be something a little, little different. And I will inform y'all more in that tomorrow. But um, I'm just saying tomorrow's going to be a little different than my usually what I usually do on a typical Saturday. Because y'all know I don't go out. I don't really do none of that. But tomorrow's going to be something a little different. Um... I'm not saying, oh my god, y'all gonna catch me at the club. No. No, you're not gonna catch me at the club. <laughs> Trust me, if I y'all to catch me at the club, I'd be, hey, all my subscribers who live in Dallas, meet me at this club. Because I do not want to be sitting like a damn loner boner. No. Tried it once and never again will I ever go to the club by myself. I was a fool to go to the club by myself the one time that I did, but you know what I'm saying. Um... But yeah, I was just, I'm just like so undecided because I have to pick two outfits for tomorrow. So I was just like, man, what should I wear well, for church? I was picking like with this red outfit that I have. Like the shirt is red and black. It's a dress up shirt. But in a, and I was like, should I wear that? But then I'm like, oh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be like 90 degrees. I want to wear shorts. I do not want to be in, you know, pants. Especially because I'm, so, I'm sick and with pants, like I just feel like I sweat even more. So I'm wearing a black dress up button up shirt, button down shirt with um my like they're like orange they're like orangey pinkish kind of shorts. They're a little more like on the orange side. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wear them with my Bugs bunnies. Like check this out. They're kind of um they're kinda of like this color. These are I mean I'm, these are not my Bugs, these are my Marvin and Martians, my bad. They're like that color. So I'm gonna wear it with that. Um, cause I honestly, I'm, I'm literally, since I had, since I haven't had no money and haven't been working, getting no money coming into me, I, I have been forever, like, I'm gonna buy me some black dress up shoes, this and this and that, and I haven't had money, so I haven't been able to do that, so that's gonna be one of my accomplishments when I start working again or start getting money again, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna buy me shoes for church because... I only have like a brown pair, two brown pairs, like an actual dress up dress up one and another one that looks more like, they're dress up but they look more like on the shoe side. They're brown but it's like, I, it's like I have those but then I don't even really have shirts that match with those, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not that person that really likes to repeat wearing the same thing over and over like to church or like to anywhere. It's just the type of person I am so I'm just like, man, what the heck can I wear, you know? So I'm gonna wear that and... Tomorrow, I actually have to talk to my pastors um, to see if I am going to be able to get baptized on next Saturday. Because if I am, I'm going to definitely need a shirt. And I want to go more with the white theme. If not, if not white, probably a red. Since red is my color with red of course i'm not gonna get baptized in it but it's gonna be for afterwards and then i'm like I'm just thinking about it i might have to even take jail because once they they you know they lay you back dunk you down my hair's gonna get wet and i am not going to be in, during the rest of the church ceremony without my hair being combed because that's just the picky person i am i'm not surprised if i'm gonna pack a blow dryer <laughs> so i could dry my hair you know what i mean um, but I, I was talking to my mom about that. So I got to talk to the pastors tomorrow. I got to get both of them to see if it's a guess that I'm going to get baptized on the 8th, which is, yeah, next, it's next Saturday. And if it is so, so I can buy me, I just, I just need a shirt. That's all I need. And like I said, you know, it's nothing fancy, whatever, like something nice, but it's not going to go for nothing fancy, fancy either. You know what I mean? It's just so I could look decent and nice. So I could take pictures afterwards and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and two, because I need to let, uh, you know, a few people that wanted to see me get baptized. I got to let them know to see, you know, if they're going to be able to make it. I had been telling a lot of people, though, that for uh, hopefully it was the 8th. So a lot of people are requesting that day also. That's why I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that they say yes. It's a do. And so I could start, you know, making phone calls or messaging these people, telling them like, hey, hey, you know, it's gonna happen. Da, 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 you know, Cause that's a big chapter in my life to do. Get baptized. That's something huge. Something that 
I never thought I would end up doing and it's just a big accomplishment for me. Not saying that I didn't think I would do so I, I knew I wanted to do it, but I just didn't know when it was going to be able to happen. So, yeah, you know. So, I'm just like, man, I have to pick one outfit for church tomorrow, though. But then I have to pick another outfit for afterwards because I am not going to be in black and knowing that where I'm going to be is going to be outside. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. So, probably for that, I'm probably going to be just in maybe my white shirt that has a lion. Probably I'm going to be in that. I'm going to be in something comfortable because I won't be there for a while. I don't want to be all dressed up, you know what I mean? And... I don't know like I used to love back then you would never catch me really in a regular t-shirt at for a certain time in my life I was always dressing up everybody knew me dressing up nice I was always dressing up I had always had Jordans on but I was always dressing up nice and now I was always rocking the chucks or not even the fat farms when fat farms were in style and so yeah and you know I was kind of debating about if I was gonna go to church or not because like since I've been sick and just like my mind's just not all there, man, and I just hate to, you know, that I'm there and I'm in the, I'm dozing off and sleeping, because then I have my mom <laughs> go with her shoulder, and I'm just like, ow, <laughs> and she's like, I'm sorry, she's like, but wake up, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, and then next thing you know, I start dozing off again, so she's like, wow, you know, so hopefully, I don't doze off tomorrow, but it's funny, because even when I am dozing off, I could still hear my pastor, like, um, preaching, so I'm just like, that's not a bad thing. So I could hear him, you know, it's a good thing. But um, since I have been in a lot of pain and stuff, I'm just like, that's why I've been debating it all day of, of, for tomorrow. All Like, I've been debating it all day. And like, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I am. And um, so, yeah, so finally I got my outfit. Like I said, I'm rocking a uh, black dress of shirt, button up my pinkish orangey shorts and with my Marvin and Martians <laughs> and then afterwards I'm gonna have a few hours to decide what I'm gonna wear afterwards because I don't want to decide right now so I, I don't know I'm just gonna decide at the last minute who knows but probably I'll end up just wearing my damn Spider-Man shirt with some shorts and my vans I don't know honestly I really don't know but or not, I'm probably going to wear my red Jordans. I honestly don't know, guys. Y'all find out tomorrow what I'm wearing <laughs> when I switch over, you know what I mean? Y'all definitely see me change, but, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing, guys. But anyways, though, I hope y'all all had a great, amazing day, and congratulations to my next-door neighbor. Um, I actually used to work with him. I worked. He worked with me for, probably, like, he worked with me for three, three or two years, and his daughter graduated today from the high school that I graduated from. So congratulations to her. I don't know her name. Otherwise, I will give her a shout out. But I don't know her name. But I just want to say congratulations to her. Because even though she has a little girl, who I believe is one going on too, it could have been for her to drop out. But she put her mind to it. Went through school, through the pregnancy. You know, kept going to school. Didn't give up. And... She accomplished something big and it was so adorable and cute because her daughter literally she bought her a gown and cust uh, the customized thing and it said I think I believe it her little thing said um mommy I'm proud of you and I was just like oh my god like that's just so so cute like it was just so cute um so congratulations to her and all the class of 2019. Like I said, from every school, every state, every city, have graduated. Congratulations to you, you guys. You guys just know you just passed a milestone in your life and a milestone that you will treasure for the rest of your life. And to all these bad people that are, you know shooting at these parties and stuff like man y'all need to chill and stop that because at the end of the day these kids literally went 18 19 years school of their life and for y'all to try to cut their life too short like that it's just not fair so with y'all be careful guys the guys girls if y'all go to after parties you know i was young and uh you know what i'm saying but you just gotta be careful and be safe because you don't want to go like yeah, you know, accomplish something, but then your life taken away for an idiot out there, you know what I mean? 
idiots will be idiots the devil will be the devil and yeah you know what i'm saying so if you have to avoid that and just go out to a dinner with your family or if your family is throwing you like a little gathering or something that's cool but like try to avoid these hateful people out here in this world because we live in a cold world and it's just cold so that's all i'm saying that's the advice i could give y'all but congratulations to each and every one of you congratulations to every student every kid who passed to the next grade congratulations to you all and just keep your heads up and just remember you know get this far to prove to yourself it's not even to prove to anybody it's just to prove to yourself like hey you know what i did it through the struggles through whatever but i accomplished it so yeah much much love to all of you all class of 2019 and to every kid that passed to the next grade congratulations to all of you like for real like no no cap no nothing like real talk congratulations to you all um may god bless y'all with much more success in life and keep going grind reach for that star and never give up honestly um but yeah anyways though guys uh I will go ahead and I will see y'all in tomorrow's vlog because it's already kind of a little late so I gotta hurry up and edit this but I will see y'all in tomorrow's vlog and much love and can't wait to see my meet my little nephew even though it's gonna be through video and through a picture but hey I'm still gonna be able to meet him so it's all gravy it's all Gucci you know what I'm saying um and with that being said Oh, no drinking, no driving. Get a designated driver. Y'all be safe. And to everybody sending me good world wishes, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And your boy's talking pretty fast and stuff because my throat is hurting. <clears throat> and I am running fever, as y'all can kind of see. My cheeks are a little red because your boy's running fever. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Chill. Jesus is the only way to God. Jesus said, I'm the way and the truth. In the life, no one comes to the Father but through me. Every